this is my Sansco S4D4 C1T uh, four channel DVR which goes with my cameras which I've got around the house outside um, I wanted to add another camera to it but I can't obviously to this because it's only got four input so what I've done is I've ordered the eight channel box to replace this uh, it's been a great system I've had it about 14 months had a little problem with it which Sansco sorted out straight away so I was quite happy to replace it with another one uh, the only thing I've got to do is change the hard drive from this box to the new one. To remove this one, I've got three screws on the back, there, there and there, and one on each side, there and there. So I'm just going to undo those, take the lid off, and then transfer it, show you how you take it off. So I've got a Phillips screwdriver, I've got the screw in the side, slippery keeps moving out of the way so the box the back just pulls out and lifts up like so and then pulls out from the top you just have to sort of unhinge it like clipped into place or lifts out like so There we have the hard drive. So I've got the two connections on either side, the power supply and the actual link to the unit. And it's held in by four screws on the bottom, which are the four silver screws here. So I'm gonna take them off there. Uh, be very careful that you don't actually drop the box out. So it's the same Phillips screws. The camera uh, I bought separately was exactly the same as the ones which comes in the kit. When I bought the kit, the whole lot comes together. It's just it. this is the DVR, which I didn't actually need a complete system. And I didn't need the hard drive because I've got this one in here. So I'll just turn it back over again. That is now loose. And I just gotta just move that out of the way. Right. A little clip just to push down there, which releases it. And the same with that one, and now I can just lift that out. And that hard drive has got a date on it, which I can't see. Not that it matters, because I only bought the system about 14 months ago anyway. So just put that to one side. I'm just going to put the lid back on this as I don't lose anything. And to get in the other box, uh, looking at it, it's got exactly the same five screws. And this is the new box. Very, very slightly different design on the front. It's got a socket, it's got a thing there for a remote control. Uh, slightly different, but this doesn't have a remote control, this one anyway. Uh, on the back, as you can see, these are pretty much the same, but we got the extra four camera inputs. I'm only gonna be using one extra one, so um, I'm not worried about the other ones. I didn't need eight, eight cameras at all. So just remove these screws, as I did with the other one just now. And just lift up the back section, pull it apart a bit first, trying to support it so it doesn't sort of bang. Lift that right up and it unhinges like so. And I've got the hard drive that goes underneath there. And then connect them. Right in this one. Right. I'm going to move it along to line up the, the holes in the bottom. Okay, so I've just got to line up the holes in the bottom like so. A little bit, bit fiddly, trying to hold it with one hand. Let's get one screw lined up first. Oops. There we go, I can just move it about now until the others line up. Now just 
just finished tightening these up. That's what holds the hard drive in place. There we are, that's all done. We've got to put the back back on it now. Uh, connections are all done, they're all okay. Just double check. Keep, keep the wires inside. Okay. So, top end in first. Just hold it up. Hinge that back down at the back. So again, just tighten up these five screws. They could be a little bit of a so-and-so to put in because they don't all line up exactly right. That's why you want to put them all in first a little bit before you actually tighten them up. All I've got to do now is uh, go back and connect everything back up. Um, the camera, the extra one I haven't installed yet, so I'll do that fairly soon. Just a matter of plugging it in then setting up the region setting. I have other videos on there showing how you set the detection setting, etc. Um, I'll obviously have to, on my app on my phone, I'll have to put in because this will have a new serial number. So you won't be able to view it on your phone unless you actually tell your phone the serial number of this box. Um, that's my next job then. Uh, it just shows you how to change the, the hard drive. Quite straightforward if a bit fiddly. Um, so good luck when you do yours. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.